I gotta say I'm in the mood for a little bit more than I mean I'm saying what kind of did this two days I need me a little bit more than Hey guys, welcome back to another video If you're new here, I go by Nani and thank you for tuning in So as you saw by the title, today I'm gonna be painting Pop Smoke and um talking to you guys a little bit about why I chose him and my feelings on him and things like that. So, first things first, I think that Pop Smoke is phenomenal. I think that he came inside the um, music industry and really um, paved his way because he was so unique. And we all love him. We know that. I mean, I'm sure everybody doesn't love him, but the vast majority of people love him, including me. And um, I decided to paint him because, um, unlike other rappers, I really enjoyed some of his stances on, you know, certain, I don't want to say issues, but just certain things. Like, for example, I used to watch a lot of interviews from him, and I noted how he, like, specifically said that he loved, like, black women, especially like he used to specify dark skinned women and that's is something to me that like really stood out because most guys especially african american guys well only african american guys you know once they get money and fame and things like that they try to go as far away from who they are as possible in like in the form of finding women who are not black and denouncing black women so the fact that he went against that and he said that he appreciates black women and he you know, loves black women, that was something that really stood out to me and always, like, made him, like, it made me look at him in a positive light. So I decided to paint him because I just felt like, of any rapper, he's the person that I want to paint. And, um, yeah, and I think that it's important to note that um, we all love Pop Smoke, of course, but I think a lot of his love comes from mob mentality. And I think that it's important for everyone to recognize that you shouldn't just love someone after everyone else loves them. Like, there's probably so many Pop Smokes and Beyonce's and everything under the sun. Like, so many people who could be successful, who deserve to be successful, who are talented, who, you know, we just, you know, overlook them because the attention is not on them from everyone else. So I think that... Um, what I want everyone to take away from this video is that if you have people in your life, make sure you're showing them love and make sure you're supporting them, even if no one else is. And I think that if we have that mindset of, like, you know, supporting those around us and making sure that we're, like, uplifting our loved ones and just the people we know in general, I think that we'll have a lot more successful people in our um, communities and in our circle and I think that that's a beautiful thing and not just to come up off them but because you just want your people to be successful you want them to be doing things and sometimes your support could be the the um catalyst to a lot of great things in people's lives so just make sure you're being kind to the people in your life make sure you're being supportive and make sure that you love people just because you love them and not because everyone else is loving them you know what I'm saying so yeah, that's all I really wanted to say, and um, I want you guys to stay tuned to the end. I'm almost done, and I want you guys to tell me in the comments a few things. Number one, I want you guys to tell me if you think <laughs> my painting is accurate, um, and number two, I want you guys to comment some more things that you guys want me to try to paint, because I'm still a beginner artist. I think that's something that I should mention, too. I'm not, like, a professional artist, and on top of that, my... Um, art style is more like cartoonish as you guys can see like it's not very realistic so and that's another reason why I chose to paint an actual person like a specific person because usually I just loosely base my characters off of people but it's not supposed to necessarily be them so I wanted to challenge myself to paint an actual person so I want you guys to tell me if it looks accurate uh, I showed a friend and they said it looked like Kendrick Lamar more but you know I tried my best and yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And also comment some more stuff that you guys would like me to try to paint or draw or anything, you know. Or even other video ideas, like if you guys want me to um, do a Q&A or something. I know it's pretty early for that, but 
So anything you anybody wants, just comment it. Or you can follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram in the description. So you guys can go over there. And yeah, so this is the finished product.